Hi guys, welcome back to my amazing kitchen. My name is Abba. In today's video, I want to show you how I make fried fish without using any oil or an air fryer. Just listen to this. So, can you hear that crunch? Come along and let me show you how I made this delicious fried fish. So, in my bowl here, I have my fish which I have thoroughly cleaned and I'm just allowing it to soak in some lemon water to get rid of all the fishiness. And as you can see, all the fins have been cut off and the stomach is also cleaned. To be honest, pompano is a very easy fish to work with. Next, I'm going to go ahead and drain my water and then pat my fish dry with some kitchen towel. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut my fish into sizable pieces. Now you don't have to do this, it will all depend on what you'll be using your fish for. When I cut my fish into pieces like this, I can use it to eat kenke or banku, use it in my soup or in my stew, but you can leave it whole and the recipe will still work. So here we have all our fish cut into beautiful pieces. I'm going to transfer this into a bowl and season it with some salt. I'm also going to add some ginger powder, garlic powder, a little bit of white pepper, some black pepper as well, some fish seasoning, and just a little bit of oil, about a teaspoon. The oil will just help the spices stick better to your fish. In this recipe, it works best if you use a dry seasoning instead of a wet marinade. Now go ahead and toss your fish around and rub all the spices in until your fish is well seasoned. If you have the time, you can allow your fish to marinate for about 15 to 30 minutes, but it's not really necessary. So next, I'm going to arrange my fish onto a lined baking sheet, and it works best if you don't pile them up. My oven is already preheating at 180 degrees Celsius. Now pop this into your oven for about 30 to 40 minutes, depending on the amount and the size of your fish. Also remember that every oven works differently, so just keep an eye on it until it gets to the stage you are looking out for. So mine was in the oven for about 35 minutes, and the last 10 minutes of my cooking time, I increased the temperature from 180 to 200 degrees Celsius to get a bit of color on my fish. And there you have it, our fish is beautifully fried. If I served you this, there is no way you would know that the fish wasn't deep fried. Now you just listen to the crunch on this fish. Now that's the sound of a perfectly fried fish. So as you can hear, the fish is uh, super crunchy, but yet so moist on the inside, just as you would want your perfectly fried fish. Please don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment down below, share the video and please subscribe if you haven't yet done so. If you don't have an air fryer and certainly not in the mood to waste some oil, Try this fried fish recipe and you won't regret it. So until I come your way next time with another amazingly delicious recipe, please remember that cooking should always be fun and exciting. So make this fried fish with love and see it radiate through the hearts of your family. Thank you so much for watching guys and see you in my next video. Bye!